Hello all, today we're going to do an unboxing of Horse and Musket, Dawn of an Era. This is designed by Sean Schick from Holland Spiel Games. And what we have here is Horse and Musket is a simple tactical game covering the development of musket warfare from Vienna in 1683 to Appomattox in 1865. This first volume in the series, Dawn of an Era, covers warfare in the West from 1683 to 1719, which saw the bayonet replace the pike. Ranks became thinner and battles more linear as firepower and infantry discipline became the deciding factor. What you get in this is you get one a 17 by 33 inch map, 54 double-sided terrain titles, 352 double-sided counters, 12 page rule book, 28 page scenario book, uh, one turn record track sheet, one player aids card, four 10-sided dice, and two six-sided dice. Uh, I was kind of interested in this game in that there's not a lot of systems that cover this area. This, this is basically the musket and pike era that goes into um, just the full-on gunpowder era. And uh, not a lot of stuff that, that, that systems that, that cover that specific era. So get the box. This is a little bit, that's the same thin box or a little bit thicker box, I guess, than, than Hollispiel. Get a big map and Hollispiel maps are paper. This is going to be pretty generic, big hex map because uh, you put the terrain on there. So it's just a big uh, hex counter map. Uh, there's that Hollispiel smell when the, I think it's coming from the laser cut counters. Uh, there's your four ten-sided dice. Um, there's your two six-sided dice. And let's get these counter sheets out. This is a thick, thick box here. Uh, the question is, will I be able to get all the counters back in the box? Oh, there we go. A lot in that box there. So th the next thing you get out of the box is the counters. And again, these are these really thick you know, almost, I think, wood-like counters that they're laser cut. So you get the different counters there. The counters are quite nice. Okay. Then you have the terrain town counters. These are pretty nice. Again, on that same thick uh, core, so the laser cut. So there's two sheets, three sheets. So you got some woods, you got some hills. You've got some cities, you got some river. So there's three sheets of those. Then this is the turn record track. Then you have the, ooh, and this is the player aid card that talks about your battle charts, terrain charts, game sequence, and your actions allowed. Grand battles charts, terrain charts, small battles chart, okay? Don't know much about this. I'm interested in getting into this. Um, volume one scenarios. So several battles here. As I said, it goes from Vienna all the way up to, um, I don't see Appomattox on here, but there's several battles in the 17, 16, 1700s. Pretty interesting. Quite a few battles listed in there. You got your unit attributes back, kind of a little another player aid on the back of the scenario. And then you've got the scenario layouts. So you got a little picture there of how to lay out the terrain, which is always nice. And then what forces uh, are engaged. So there's your different scenarios. So quite a few here in the box. Then you have your rules, which are only, uh, again, you have another player aid on the back of back sheet of that you got credits so it looks like the rules are about 13 pages oh, that's optional rules so basically the rules are really only about nine to ten pages full color with some examples which is nice I always like to have the examples in there uh, two columns it's not too dense of text so you know, nine to ten pages of rules and some examples and full color. Doesn't look that hard to get into. 
So that's what you get in the box. Uh, the question is, will I be able to get it all back in the box after I after I punch it out? But that is a uh, horse and musket. Uh, really interested in getting into this system. I kind of like systems that let you recreate several different battles and multiple battles. So if this was helpful, uh, please like. If you want to see more uh, or want to know what else is going on, please subscribe and give me some comments. Let me know what you think of this game, games like this. If you've played it, please put comments in there. That'd be helpful before I uh, actually get it to the table and maybe try to do something more deeper dive or exploration on it at some point. Anyway, uh, hope you guys are having a great holidays and thank you for watching.